to the um, statistic about men taking their own lives because when I came to the UK there was a big campaign about stress being the biggest killer of men um, and I remembered feeling quite shocked at that statistic because where I came from in um, southern Africa so I grew up in Botswana we knew AIDS was a problem but the, the campaigns weren't really there you know that there wasn't that much media So coming to the UK at the age of 12 or so, I found it amazing that there was such a health concern, that there was such a big thing about, you know, preserving and, um, which it should be. But then when I heard about men killing themselves at the rate that they were, there wasn't anything at the time. Um, and it's a statistic that as a person being quite spiritualist, and somebody who has healed themselves through methods of counselling and just generally taking care of myself from um, a childhood of distress and abuse and almost rewiring my own brain. It's quite, it's quite a shocking thing to hear that many people in a powerless state choosing to out, choosing to take their own life. Even though my project has been about that, it's not been a, a case of raising awareness, it's been looking into why, just because of, you know, one day I might raise a child who's a boy, um, one day, if I'm lucky and I'm a grandmother, I may have my children or other's children going, why aren't there that many old men? Things have moved so far that men don't really have an idea of where their place is in the family unit. Women can pro provide just as well as men. I see this quite often. Um, a boy's mother and father might break up, something might happen, and the boy is so socially sensitive, he will assume the role of caregiver for the mother. Oh, don't worry, mommy, I'll look after you. I'll be the man of the house. And it, for a young boy, that does happen a lot for a young boy to have that mindset at seven, eight. By the time he's 30, 35, his mind is quite old with the responsibility, obscured ideas. What will he base his psyche on? What will he base his view on women? A woman helpless to him? Because the modern day woman isn't. Is that his worth? I'm hoping that towards the end of the exhibition and the work that I've been doing, there'll be more light shed on what a modern day man is. <laughs>